All right, good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is May 1st, 2020, and I had this dream on April 30th, uh, 2020. So I spent all day yesterday uh, praying over this, and I believe that the Lord um, gave me understanding. So I'm going to share my thoughts on it. And as always, I'm going to ask you guys to please pray for discernment. Please take this to the Lord. I feel it's very important. Now, you know that over the years, many of us have been talking about our rapture dreams and how we feel that we're close. I've never liked to put dates on anything. Maybe um, I feel I felt in some uh, dreams the Lord was giving us a timing. But I've been learning a lot. Any of you that have been with me from the beginning, I've been learning a lot. And the Lord has definitely taken me a lot deeper spiritually. So now more than ever, I believe we are very close to that point. But, and it's a day that, I can't wait for it. And it, and I know that, it, that there is a catching away. I know that with all my heart. We just don't know what's going to happen beforehand. And I feel with some of these dreams that the Lord has been showing me, he's really given us a, a heads up, so to speak. So anyways, those of you that have been listening to my videos, there was a dream that I shared about. Um, I was uh, in an auditorium, and I was shown that the next scene was ready to be played out. And I was also shown and told that the fire department and the police department was going to escort me back. Okay. So this was what, maybe a month or two ago. It might have even been longer that I had this dream. And this is what's so amazing. is the dream last night connects to this one. And I'm going to, the scenes, it seemed, it feels to me that the scenes were kind of backwards. So I'm going to tell you the dream. Um, the second scene first, that will go back into the first one. I think it just, it would be easier to understand. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, I was a firefighter. And it was a very different dream. It was so real. Now, I know that a lot of dreams feel real, but this was like, I could hear my breathing. I was literally in this fireman suit, the hat. I had the fireman boots, the fireman coat, and in my left hand, I carried a sledgehammer. Now, I walked to the fire department, and it was pavement, and it, it tilted up a little bit. I passed a policewoman, okay? She was a police officer, and she told me where to go. She told me what door to go in. Now, as I walked across the pavement to go into the fire department, I saw dried lava on the ground. In fact, my boots kind of stuck to it as I walked in. So I get in the fire department. I walk in, and there wasn't a whole lot of people in there. And then I kind of went out the side door, and I was asking somebody if, if there was anybody that could take me back out to the ship. And the ship is what I saw in the first seat. Okay? The reason I wanted to go back out into the to this ship, and it was a military ship. It wasn't a cruise boat. It wasn't, you know... This was a big steel uh, military ship, like a submarine. Now, I wanted them to take me back out there because I wanted to help finish saving some, some men that had gotten o thrown over. The reason they got thrown over is because when I went outside, there was this huge storm. And it was like a blizzard. And I know that spring is coming. But it wasn't snow. It was it was that type of storm. You guys have never felt wind that strong before. It was so strong that I had to hang on to something. Okay, so there was all this debris and stuff flying around. I could only see maybe a foot in front of me. And what was amazing is what I could see was this beautiful light. When I looked up in the sky, there was this beautiful light that shined through this destruction that was going on. So imagine walking outside, and it was cold, and the storm, this wind was blowing so hard, and I could hardly see too far in front of me, but this light that was up in the sky. Now, I saw after that the ship, okay, the military ship, and I saw the ocean, and I've never seen the ocean like this before. The waves were just crashing in. I can't even explain it. The water was just splashing all over, and it was just beating this ship up. I mean, this boat was on its side, and I knew that some men had fallen overboard and were in the 
the water. Okay. Now, at this point in the dream, I knew that a few had been rescued. I could see them laying on the bottom of the ship, curled up in a fetal position, just shaking from being so wet and cold, okay? But I knew that there was more men out there that needed to be rescued. So that's why at this point in the dream, as a fireman, I was asking if somebody could take me out to this boat because I wanted to help to uh, find the rest of the men that had been thrown overboard, okay? So, first thing, I obviously know that this dream is symbolic because, one, I'm not a fireman. I don't plan on being a fireman, okay? So, we know dreams are can be literal, but most of the time they're symbolic, and most of the time they're about ourselves. And so, this is why I wasn't sure about sharing this dream. But, um, it, it was laid on my heart to, to, to share this. So, anyways, this is symbolic. I know that the ocean, from past dreams and just from, you know, studying the Bible, represents a multitude of people. Now, what I believe the battleship represents is it's symbolic to prepare. Because what does the military do? The military is always preparing for battle, always preparing for war, okay? Preparing to protect. So, the ocean, to me, I believe, represents the multitude of people. Something, there is some kind of storm, whether it's literal or spiritual, is going to cause people to just be going to and fro. And just a huge disturbance. Some people aren't going to make it and they're going to fall overboard and they're going to drown. Okay, my job in this, in the job of the church, because who do I represent in the dream? I believe that I represent Christians, okay? My all of us that are a family that belong to Christ. Okay, I believe that the Lord is going to be calling us in to rescue those that um, are going to be overthrown by what's coming. Now, like I said, I don't know everything. Maybe this will be, uh, maybe this is just a uh, spiritual storm, which can be just as bad. Something that may happen spiritually, we know that uh, we don't fight against flesh and blood, we get fight against principality, things, okay. So that was my thinking, is this, this could either represent something literal that's going to happen, and the Lord is going to be calling us in to do great works, okay, to rescue, okay, we are fishermen of men, okay, that's what we are called to do when we follow Christ. I was a firefighter. What does a firefighter do? A firefighter rescues. A police officer protects. A paramedic heals wounds. But a firefighter protects. And what do we fight with? We fight with water. A firefighter uses water. What does water represent? It represents the Holy Spirit. So another part of me is thinking, is this going to be the great outpouring of the Holy Spirit? Could be. And so symbolically, if you put all this together, it makes sense. And these are just my thoughts. So again, I was shown that this really bad storm is coming. Could be literal, could be symbolic. But through this storm, even though we couldn't see too far ahead of us, I could see that the Lord was with us because his light shined through all the chaos. So that told me that no matter what happens, my Father is with me. God is always with us. And I was called to be a firefighter, to be to rescue. The sledgehammer, I'm not sure about. It could represent the word of God. It wasn't just a, a little hammer. It was a huge sledgehammer. This dream is so symbolic, you guys, and I could be off on a few things, but I wanted to share it because I believe that we are being shown that we need to prepare. Now, like again, again, like I said, I don't know. Do we Are we preparing? Does he want us to prepare against a spiritual battle that's coming? Or is this going to be a literal, um, literal storm, something that's going to cause people to just go into panic? and chaos because the ocean was just it was just roaring and waves were just and it was so hard that the sh it, it tipped the this big battleship on its side and men fell over and they were drowning 
and and I wanted to go and I wanted to save those people. And I know this isn't just for me. I mean, this is what the Lord shows me. I share with you guys. I'm a Christian. You guys are Christians. So I believe that's what we're being called to do. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Hey. <laughs> my husband just peeked in the window. We're my son's getting uh our son's getting married Sunday uh here at the house. So we're just doing some cleaning up, hoping the sun's gonna shine. So anyways guys, um that's pretty much the rest or that all I had of that scene. And so I'm gonna ask you guys to please pray. Like I said, I'm not sure it could be literal, it could be spiritual, but boy is the Lord preparing us, okay? And I believe that we are gonna be call to to rescue to to help people bring them to christ okay before we get raptured out of here okay and this could be a judgment too this could be a judgment of the lord the only other dream i had that i'm not sure about and this could be nothing you guys is i saw a man in his office and it had the big glass window and he put a calendar in the window so i could see it and i heard him say that he was going to be uh that we were going to be doing the month of July twice. I don't know why. I don't know what's in July. I have no clue. This could be nothing. But I heard him say that he was going to uh, celebrate or observe July twice this year. So anybody has any clues on that, I would love to hear it. And uh, that's it, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this and upload it. Um, I pray for each and every one of you guys. I pray the Lord blesses you and your family. Please stay safe. Please stay close to the Lord and pray on this, okay? Ask the Lord, you know, for for confirmation and how to prepare, okay? Whether this be spiritual or a literal storm. But we are going to be called in, I believe, to help bring others to the Lord. Others that are going to be, they're just not going to make it, okay? They're, they're These people fell and they just they drowned okay so i love you guys uh sorry it's not a great flowery dream but it's an important dream so i love you guys i'll talk to you later